Alright, hi there. I am uh, making a quick video on the um, Neptune World 3 Dungeon 3, whatever you want to call it, uh, farming method. Uh, Rock Angels on the uh, Discord, as far as I know, came up with it. Um, and I have found some good success with it. Um, so, basically, you need Shaman. Um, and since it's a dungeon run, you can just have one talent point into these skills that you need. Um, I recommend, honestly, not taking this one. Um, or honestly, teleport. You don't need teleport. It's somewhat helpful sometimes, but you just really want fireball, auras, concoctions. Um, though that's going to be your main damage sources. Actually, I'll put this one there. There. Okay. Um, and sure, we'll leave Energy Bolt on just in case, but generally I don't like it. Uh, energy Bolt, being an auto attack modifier, it um, usually just does less damage than a if you get um, the uh, double hit, the pick, ice pick, hateful pick, whatever it's called, item. Um, yeah, handy ice pick, there we go. Um, so... Uh, what you're going to want as a prerequisite is high starting mana. Um, honestly, mine is a little bit low for this method, since uh, I'm relatively new to it, so I started pumping this up again. Uh, you're going to want as much mana as you can get a hold of, because the higher your starting mana, the better the percent boosts that you get. You're also going to want to go ahead and upgrade um, a lot of your gray items, or, uh, you know, white tier, regular, regular rarity, whatever you want to call it base rarity, um, I think they're called gray. Uh, you're going to want to upgrade those as far as you can, because um, we're generally going to be forcing gray grumblow build. Um, muscle memory is also good, I need to put more points into it, so um, that's the gist of the... Um, of the strategy is a Grey Grumblow build, Shaman, um, with a lot of mana, and we're going to try to basically farm up what you can uh, from the Neptunes. So, uh, you can deviate from this by, uh, like, if you get, like, early vouchers, you can try to go, f you know, a max damage voucher build to actually kill the third boss, but basically we're kind of going to ignore killing the third boss. Um, or if you get a full, you can also pivot into killing the third boss. Um, because this is a dungeon, or just take off all your clothes, it saves off, uh, it saves a bunch of hassle in the future. Um, and I actually enjoy leaving Grey Gatsby on, just because the mage dungeon weapons are very, very slow, and early on I don't think you need the damage on your abilities. But, to each their own, I'm not 100% sure which is correct there. Um, as far as dungeon cards go, you're just going to want to put on uh, I like Grand Frogger. It gives you the uh, more RNG items. Um, and then as much credit boosting and flurbo boosting as you can. And then Laszlo is just a strong item. Uh, actually, hmm, now that I think about it, you don't really need Laszlo for this. Um, I'm so used to putting it on because it's a fairly strong card. But... We're going gray build, so you don't need it. Um, so just put more mana on. Uh, and then mana regen percent. And yeah, that's the gist. Uh, the 24% dungeon money is also interesting. You just gotta, you know, see what works for you. And then don't forget to put your card set on. And we'll begin. So early on, we're going to farm up what money we can. Uh, dungeon money, that is. Um, so we got the annoying quest, or the task, or whatever you want to call it, which is run around. <clears throat> mm, and while you're doing these, just try to get as many other tasks in. See, like, I kill that and keep running. Defeat an ice guard. Well, I already did that, but run up here. That ice guard's dead. Go get some plat ore. Just kill as much things as you can while running. And get more mobs as quick as possible. Um, I need to skill more on this my, on this uh, mage. Um, ideally, you have void all tools. But uh, 
I've been lazy about it. I'll get to it soon enough. Um, but yeah, the higher tools, the better. Grab a penguin. All right, so now that we got this, go ahead and grab that. Uh, okay, sugar rush. Wow, we got a horn of the full. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm actually, because I got a horn of the full, I'm going to pivot into going for that build. Um, which means I'm actually going to take some different items. Um, but that's part of it. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll show like the, the regular strat, and then I'll show pivoting. So regular, we would just, you know, kill as many things as we can. Um, we got a block damage. So there we go, we blocked. Um, I put auto on while I'm trying to get the gear underway. It's very important to try to get, um, you know, fully clothed. Um, as a lot of them, that will give you a lot of where your mana is coming from. Um, so I'm missing shoes still. There we go. Let's go kill some of these. Those are useless. Go ahead and up move speed. And then it's a uh, hard to balance um, getting tasks done while um, um, moving, and it's just uh, takes a lot getting used to. So because we're not going to rumble, I'm going to take that. Let's go ahead and take that, because the other one's useless. Just take this. Ninja Smoke is actually kind of interesting in this. Uh, you can use it to skip later. Um, um, ice guards. So. Did I get shoes yet? I still haven't gotten shoes. Uh, Reroll for plus MP. Or to boss damage if you're trying to kill the boss. Defeat monsters of any kind, that's fine. We'll keep that. Um, still no boots. It's fine. And then you can skip the guard damage. It's unnecessary. I uh, don't recommend taking it. That was a tidbit from Kuro on the... Uh, Main Discord. All right, so we've got enough of these. It's really hard to run around while also picking up items. Again, it just takes a lot of practice, and I'm not going to say I'm particularly good at it oh my god the auto in this place is something else sometimes <sighs> okay pick up a bunny so you just gotta get strong enough that you can one shot these I really don't know what happened to my vials there. I guess I just must have misclicked. Um, but you'll see that Neptunes give you a ton of cash. Um, and they actually just have a, a fairly high drop rate of... Um, Of, um, come on. of credits and flurbos as well.
let's go ahead and grab the full. So you can skip uh, ice guards that way if you take damage. It's way easier um, with the um, the ninja smoke item. Oops. But I'm not going to say I'm uh, the best at um, this strategy or anything. I'm still I'm a man player by heart, so getting used to uh, Shaman is quite difficult. Not talking too much. Oops, I made a mistake. Yeah, it's kind of hard pivoting, honestly. I'm not used to it yet, but that's the general gist of it, is just getting... Um, getting early on um, enough power that you can go as quick as possible up to Neptunes and farming them. Um, and then if you get um, a full, or if you get an early voucher, you can swap over to actually attempting to kill the third boss um like that entire last like three minutes i could have saved more time and just been killing neptunes there um because if you're killing neptunes you'll generally get more credits than if you were trying to kill the third boss so it just depends um <laughs> if you generally with the full you can you can go for it um full is going to be your best chance of killing the third boss it's really difficult though um, other than that, yeah, it just takes a lot of getting used to. Um, if you are going to go for killing the the third boss, I also recommend picking up the guard damage. As you saw, I had some trouble with the third phase guards. Granted, if you're having trouble with the third phase guards, you're probably not going to have enough damage to kill the boss. Um, unless you really early on pivot. I kind of flip-flopped there. Um... Maybe I could have killed the boss if I had given myself, like, five extra minutes at the end. So, 
you know, it's a learning process. Um, but that's my general um, setup that I do. Um, so yeah, just do early jobs into getting the Neptunes as quick as possible. Spam Aura and Vials. Um, you're going to want to aim for like 150 max mana as well. Dropping these enhancers and trying to roll for the 25 MP is vastly more important than a lot of things. It's just really hard to do it while on the fly. Uh, because auto in this area sucks so bad. So, just a lot to get used to. There's a lot going on. It is harder than brainlessly farming World 1 dungeon. But it. I also think it's the most rewarding dungeon. Oh well. I guess rewarding for time. Uh, dungeon 2 probably still gives the most per boost. But that one is you know, an hour per run, or more. Maybe not that much, but still. Um, so yeah, that's generally the strategy. Um, hopefully this was at least somewhat informative. Uh, another tidbit, you can use Gem Shop to get out of this room quickly, instead of having to walk all the way around. Boom, bam, back in the front. Um, you can also use Gem Shop to get rid of garbage keychains like this. Like that. Wonderful. So, yeah, um, and then as far as using the credits and everything, just get mana up um, as quick uh, as you can. I would say you probably want M MP up to like 60, maybe 75 starting mana would be a really good place to have it for this strategy to really pop off. Because as you saw, I was struggling early on um, due to not having enough mana. Um, the faster you can get up to Neptunes and start spamming auras on them, the better. So, there's a lot of optimization to go on with this method. So, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a good day.